Welcome to Rainbow's Mood. My name is Jason and the day I edited this video coincides with Christmas, so Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. May the peace of Christmas always be given to all of us. In our previous video, many of you requested more foreign gay films which we have to recommend for all of you. Most of us only watch gay movies in English, and we don't know that there are many foreign gay films that are much better than those films. Therefore, we are back to making the 10 best foreign gay films that you can watch at the end of 2022 or in 2023 later. As usual, don't forget to press subscribe and leave a like on this video to get the latest updates about the upcoming 2023 gay film. Let's start with the first film. The first film comes from Israel with the title 15 Years, which was released in 2019. This film tells in detail about the problems of a couple who have been in a relationship for 15 years, Yov and Dan. Yov is having a hard time when his best friend turns out to be pregnant, while he is hanging out with his friends. Dan, Yov's partner, keeps talking about children too. He was haunted by confusion, he couldn't grant Dan's request to adopt a child, because Yov didn't want that. This film can be an inspiration and a lesson in life that having a child is not easy. We must really have the same vision with our partners. Then there is a film from Slovenia, which was released in 2018 entitled Consequences. An 18-year-old youth named Andre had to be sent to a youth detention center because of his behavior. There he met Zeljko and his subordinates. Zeljko could clearly see that Andrade had feelings for him. Their Andrade always followed Zeljko's will because he could not escape the passion when he was with him. Andrade must choose between Zeljko and his reckless lifestyle and staying true to himself. This film is very sexy and passionate, where Andrade is still on a journey to find his true self. Next is the popular French film I Am Jonas, which was released in 2018. As the title suggests, this film tells the story of a gay man named Jonas. This film has two different timelines, the first set in 1997 when Jonas was in grade 9. At that time, he met a handsome new student named Nathan. The second timeline is set in 2015. The adult version of Jonas is depicted as a broken man. This film has an interesting plot twist. What happened to the innocent Jonas to become the pitiful Jonas? This movie is available on Netflix. Fer, ¿por qué viniste? Bueno, ya te dije, ¿no? No sé, no fue suficiente. And the Grayscale is from Chile, which was released in 2019. Bruno is an architect and also the head of a family who has children and a wife who loves him. One day, the businessman has a project for Bruno to build an iconic landmark in Santiago. He agreed to the project, and there he met a gay history teacher named Fur. They'd often spend time together. But Bruno still has a wife and children. Here he chooses between his family or Fur. A very interesting film. Bringing family problems like this makes this film look more realistic. It's called vom kleinen Maulwurf, der wissen wollte, wer ihm auf den Kopf gemacht hat. Go for it, it will cheer you up. The next film from Germany released in 2019 is called Label Me. Tells the story of Wasim, a mercenary who meets Lars. Wasim is a refugee from Syria while Lars is a rich German man who lives in an apartment. The two of them were only paid friends, but somehow they couldn't hide their true feelings. They both face the problem where they don't want a relationship, but they also don't want to separate because they need each other. They both need a label about the relationship. Next, there is a film from Hungary called Land of Storms, released in 2014. Sabolks and his best friend, named Bernard, play on the same soccer team. 
But after losing one game, Shebulks finally decided to stop playing soccer. Finally, he returned to his hometown and met another boy named Aaron. The two of them often got together and explored their identities. But then, Bernard caught up with Sibolks and the three of them met. There is drama and romance in this film. Simple but interesting, what do you guys think? Hey! Hey, turn off! Now it's Switzerland's turn to show one of its best gay films. The title is Mario, which was released in 2018. Mario is a Swiss soccer player who has dedicated his life to the dream of becoming a professional player on the international stage. He practices hard, but one day the team he plays recruits another player named Leon. They both have to live under one roof to build chemistry in the game, but more than that, they fall in love. This is where all the chaos begins. He must choose his career in football or be with his love, Leon. Disculpame. Eh, yo soy Caito. Caito. Sería bueno que no, que no esté nunca solo. No sé. Next is a film from Argentina with the title My Best Friend, which was released in 2018. Lorenzo is a lonely teenager living with his family in Argentinian Patagonia. One day, Lorenzo's father's friend sent his son, Cato, to live with them. Their friendship is getting closer until one of them falls in love, but this is not about their feelings, but finally found the real reason why Cato can live with Lorenzo's family. This film depicts the intimate bromance relationship between the two. It's a must-watch especially if you like family-themed films. Che, ¿para qué estaba haciendo la habitación esa? Se va a quedar un chabón de laburo. ¿Y la alquilás o lo deja? No, la alquilo. ¿Quién es el que se queda? Uno rubio. The ninth film from Argentina to be released in 2019. The Blonde One is about the love story between Gabriel and Juan. It started with Gabriel, who was fascinated by Juan's character who always made him want to make love. The attraction between the two of them is undeniable. This film has a simple and sensual plot. If you like intimate moments in a film, that the blonde one is for you. You can watch it on Amazon Prime Video. Read the description of this video for more details. Gracias. The last recommendation for the best foreign gay film came from Chile, with the title The Strong Ones which was released in 2019. This film is one of the best films in 2019. Lucas decided to go to Nibla to visit his sister. There he met a handsome man named Antonio. It didn't take long for the two of them to get closer and needed each other. They'd always spend their time together to make good memories. But when they must part, will they both be strong? And those are the 10 best foreign gay films that you can watch at the end of this year or during the new year 2023. Gay films are timeless. We can watch them anytime and anywhere. To find out where to watch the following films, please read the descriptions of every video we upload on this channel. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful holiday and happy new year.